Guys, Windows 7 and XP have long since expired. But even today, some people are still using them. In fact, I also use Windows 7 because my PC has only 2 GB of RAM, and it's not feasible to run Windows 10 or 11 with such low RAM. Therefore, in today's video, I'll provide you with a light version of Windows 10. On this version, not only can you run 64-bit apps, but you can also directly install the Play Store if you want. So, if you haven't tried Windows 10 yet, now is the time. Let's roll. The links to these two files will be available on my website, and you can easily access my website through the About section of my channel. First, you need to insert the pen drive into your PC and then run Rufus. Click on this button and select the ISO file. Once you've selected the ISO, this option will automatically change to GPT. You need to change it according to your PC. If your system is MBR based, select MBR. If it's GPT based, select GPT. In my case, since my system is MBR based, I'll choose MBR. If you're unsure about your system being MBR or GPT, simply go to the start menu, search for format hard disk, and then choose this option. Now, you need to move the mouse pointer to the hard disk, right click and go to its properties. After that, navigate to the volume tab. As you can see, my system is MBR based, so I'll select MBR. Keep the other options as they are and click on the start button. It will take five to 10 minutes to complete, so wait patiently during this process. One hour later. After the process is complete, simply restart your PC. As soon as your PC restarts, you need to press the boot key multiple times. In my case, for my Dell laptop, the boot key is F12. It might be different for your laptop depending on the brand. Once you access the boot menu, choose the option for USB storage devices and your pen drive will boot. Now, the loading has started and it will take three to four minutes, so be patient. After loading is complete, you'll see an interface like this. Check this option and click on Next. Now, select the partition. Make sure to select a partition where there is no data. After selecting the hard drive, click on Next and the installation will start. After the installation is complete, your PC will restart and then the loading process will begin. After the loading is complete, you will see the dual boot menu from where you can choose to boot into your previous Windows as well. However, for now, I will select the option with Windows 10. In the next step, you will need to set up your Windows, so let me quickly set it up. As you can see, our Windows 10 Lite has been successfully installed, and let me show you. Here it is, Windows 10 64-bit version, fully activated. Now, you can easily use any 64-bit application on your 32-bit PC. One reason for its speed is that if you look at the start menu, you won't find any unnecessary apps. This is why it's running smoothly on my 32-bit PC. Overall, it's an excellent operating system, easily installed on my PC. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to install Android 12 OS on your PC, click on this video, and I'll see you there.